Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to it. Jessica. Guys, we're going to be checking out. I met you that answer. Jesus said he is the Alpha and the Omega, mm. the first and the last. Guys, let's get straight into this. Mr. D. Dad, in the book of Re Revelation, Jesus claims that I am the first and the last. And also he said, I am Alpha and Omega, and the beginning and the end. If Christ was not God, how could he make such a claim? The book of Revelation, scholars will tell you, was a dream of John. It was a dream which he has put down on paper. These are what people hear, if at all, that if Jesus appeared to him, to John, and told him, I'm Alpha and Omega, if he did, which I do not believe. They're talking about God Almighty, that God is saying, I am Alpha and Omega. I am the first and the last, not Jesus. But suppose you put these words into the mouth of Jesus, according to your translations. Even then, a dream. You know, a people, when they eat a bit too much, it happens you dream dreams, things that you see. And you read this book of Revelation, describing to you certain beasts with eyes outside and eyes inside and you know something which absolutely you have eaten too much you start thinking in those terms so I said now while Jesus walked this earth we have to now understand that while he walked this earth in none of the Gospels Matthew Mark Luke or John is the expression ever used I am God or worship me on the contrary he says my father is greater than I he says my father is greater than all he says, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous because I seek not my own will, but the will of him that sent me. He says, of that day knoweth no man, no, not the angels, nor the Son, but the Father in heaven. In my knowledge, I'm not like God. In my power, I'm not like God. He says, all power is given unto me. It is not mine. I by the finger of God cast out devils. I by the spirit of God do these things. Where does he say that he is doing the works? That it is his power, he is doing it. Nowhere. And Peter testified in the quotation that uh, the doctor gave. Peter in the book of Acts testifies. He said, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you. A man, not God approved among you. A man. He quoted it, but of course, the quotation went off such like water and ducks back. You people hardly apprehended anything. It says, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him. He didn't do it. Which God did by him in the midst of you, which you also know. I said, look, we agree with that. The Quran testifies to that effect that he gave life to the dead by God's permission. He healed those blind and the lepers by God's permission. We agree with that. But I said, look now, your interpretation, your reading, you are reading into your own scripture something that is not there and which is contrary to what Jesus claimed. He's teaching us, he's come, I'll teach you how to pray. It's a prayer like this. So, oh, our Father which art in heaven, our Father, yours and mine, including Judas, not the Father of Jesus Christ in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, singular, thy name, thy will be done, thy... As, as, in, as it is on earth, as it is in heaven. Where does he say I'm God? Where does he say worship me? Nowhere. Nowhere. It is something now, like I just heard on TV, the program of Brother Jimmy Swaggart. Uh, he's giving some lessons on TV. And at the end of that lesson on Babylon, one of his panel members, he says, you know, I've been to Mongolia. I've just been to Mongolia. And there, he said, I went to a Buddhist temple. And there, the supervisor, while he was with me, I'm asking him that this wheel, prayer wheel, on which you people are pinning in your prayers, in written form, and you turn the wheel, what for? He says, no, this is now, we are asking in this form, asking Buddha for help. But he said, look, I read so many books on Buddha, nowhere does Buddha claim to be God. Nowhere. This is one of our panel members of Jimmy Swaggart says, no one says that, Jesus, that Buddha is God. He says, nowhere. He says, yes, that is true, but we say he is God. We make him God. This is the same. What he is talking, laughing at the Buddhist, I said, my brother, you are in the same boat. You are doing the very same thing.
Brothers and sisters, I want you to acknowledge really these two fine champions, two wonderful gentlemen for sharing their valuable time and the energies with us tonight. However you want to acknowledge them. Thank you very much. Okay? What do you think about this? Well, basically, I would always keep on saying that I don't feel Jesus is God and I don't feel God is Jesus. But then, they are, based on Trinity, I'm made to believe that they are all three in one. So Jesus saying he's the Alpha and Omega, he also said he's the way, the truth, and the life. You can't get to the Father through him. And I am said to believe that because you actually can't get to God except you go through Jesus. Now, it's very complicated when you want to look into it, if I'm being honest, but I still would say I agree with the Bible. I'll tell you my reason, but well, I don't think you can actually like say if you ask how Muhammad got his revelation, it was when he was meditating or something like that. So it's like we saying the Quran is false because Muhammad got it through meditation or through a dream or something. You just can't disprove the gospel like that just because he got it when he slept and for him yeah. to be able to remember everything and write it down if you read the book of revelation and some things in revelation have actually come to pass so I it's love. actually valid I because love. for you to judge any gospel is maybe any prophecy is about it coming to pass and if you read the book of revelation things there have actually come to pass so I don't think you just disproving it by is a dream. It does not actually make sense to me. Yeah, because looking at it is okay when let's say for example now prophets we have now when they give our prophecies, you uh you can either doubt that those prophecies actually come to pass, or you can believe that oh this prophecy is going to happen. But then you can only validate that prophecy when it actually comes to pass. Yeah. And what John wrote in the book of Revelation, I can see I have seen a lot of it happening now. So I would say that Revelation but was I still a valid get one. His point. Like he gave other reasons why he does not believe um the verse based on the four gospels that came before it. I understand that. Yeah, that, that is a valid point for no, you saying because it was a dream, it's too much. The like, fact I that it is a dream, that doesn't... I would say that is not really a reasonable reason why you wouldn't want to yeah. believe that. But guys, tell us what you think about this video. We see you next time, guys.